Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're actually looking at a combination effort, uh, in this case by Acer on the monitor side of things. Uh, we're gonna be looking at the Acer XFA240, which is a 1920 by 1080p FreeSync 144 hertz refresh rate gaming monitor it's a tn panel uh it, it's it's fine you know it's as far as tn panels go it's fine it's a high refresh rate monitor uh and it's cheap as far as free sync panels go and especially as far today and this is where we get over to the nvidia side of things go uh it's a cheap g-sync monitor if you have a 10 series graphics card or 20 series graphics card from nvidia and if you have the january 15th update which came out today this morning this update came out just today so hopefully i'm one of the first to test this particular panel out so now turning over to the panel it's a fairly nondescript panel has pretty large bezels which uh, you would probably expect from a $200 uh, gaming panel. Uh, the only thing I don't really like about the aesthetic, though, of the panel itself is its stand, which it is replaceable. You do have the uh, VESA mount on the back, but you do have these sort of burnt orange accents on the bottom of this panel. Fine. Uh, if you're buying this particular monitor, though, you're looking for that high refresh rate gaming. And if you are an NVIDIA graphics card owner, again, of those 10 and 20 series cards, this is now, at least as of the time I looked at Amazon, the absolute cheapest G-Sync panel that you can find. So naturally, I wanted to take a look at this panel more to see if the G-Sync implementation here knowing that it doesn't actually have a G-Sync module, it hasn't paid any money to NVIDIA through either hardware or getting certified or anything. This is just one of the 12 panels that NVIDIA has validated uh, that were FreeSync panels that will now work with G-Sync out of the box and actually by default have G-Sync enabled. So let's go ahead and look at the gaming performance of this panel and let's come back for a little bit of wrap up. Okay, so here we are in the NVIDIA control panel, and the first thing you'll notice is that the enable G-Sync box is not checked, and that's not because it wasn't enabled by default. That's actually because I disabled it uh, for this particular test. So right now, G-Sync is turned off for this monitor. I'm going to hop into Overwatch now, and I'm just going to cruise around the sort of training area to see what I feel about uh, th this monitor with overwatch without g-sync enabled running sort of in that uh, g-sync range that it would normally be in uh, which this monitor at least for free sync is rated at 48 to 144 hertz uh, whereas we're running sort of right in the middle of that somewhere we're running sort of between 100 and 120 fps so definitely below the rated refresh rate of this monitor and we're just gonna kind of see then uh, what type of performance we're seeing so it's going to be virtually impossible to see on the camera itself just because of the uh, FPS that the camera runs at, which is just 30. But there seems to be just a little bit of almost, I want to call it lag. And I don't know if that's the monitor or just the connection to the game server. We'll see when we enable G-Sync. But otherwise, we're seeing a pretty good gaming experience even without G-Sync enabled. So, um, And by the way, this monitor I've been very impressed with as far as 1080p panels go for $200. You know, this, this thing's doing a really great job, and, and if G-Sync works pretty well with it, then it's just gonna make it that much better. So this may be purely a placebo, but there may be just the just tiniest bit of stutter here and there, uh, when I'm especially when I'm moving quickly, almost like instead of a very fluid motion across, you're getting a little bit of a like that, 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 that type of a motion clear across. And again, that may be more of a placebo just because I'm trying to look and see if I can find a flaw with it before I enable G-Sync. But uh, that's just one thing I may be noticing here. Okay, so we're going to hop back over to the NVIDIA control panel and we are going to enable G-Sync with the click of a mouse and click apply. We're gonna see the monitor cut out for just a second, which it did, and now we have G-Sync enabled. So we're gonna hop back into Overwatch and see how uh, the game sort of feels with uh, G-Sync enabled. Okay, so a couple things. First off, it looks like that mild delay between the shot and the little robots actually blowing up seems to be more to do with the connection to the game server than anything and not actually um, to do with the monitor itself. So that's good news, I suppose. The other bit of news here though, is that with the motions in general, um, 
I feel like they are a little bit more fluid. And again, this may be just me sort of trying to come up with a difference here because if I'm being 100% honest, there's not a big difference between G-Sync being enabled at this FPS and G-Sync not being enabled at this FPS. So we're gonna have to do something here to drive this refresh rate even lower to get into sort of the bottom end of the, the G-Sync refresh rate uh, that this monitor is supposed to be able to carry. And uh, hopefully that'll reveal some more differences and, and therefore some benefits to running this particular panel. Okay, so I've changed up settings a little bit and driven my FPS down into the 60s, sometimes low 70s, worst case scenario, high 50s. And uh, we're just gonna play around and this is still with G-Sync enabled. I haven't hopped out of game or anything for G-Sync to be disabled. So I'm just gonna run around and uh, play around with uh, hitting the robots a little bit. And then we're gonna switch it back over again to G-Sync disabled and see if I see much of a difference. And again, with uh, G-Sync enabled here running in the 60s and low 70s, I would definitely again say that this has been a, this is a very smooth gaming experience. I am not really seeing any sort of stutters, tearings, or really any other major artifacts that would uh, detract from the gaming experience here. So, so far, good job. Let's see if we can go ahead and hop back to the NVIDIA control panel now and disable G-Sync and see if that changes for us at all. So this is interesting to me because like I couldn't really identify to you exactly what I'm seeing that is making this experience less than perfect, but as I sort of move around, I could see where a person might actually get motion sick from this, and, and it's almost like there's just sort of a jitter to the image without G-Sync enabled. Um, at these lower refresh rates, uh, it, it's hard to describe, and again, I doubt the camera's gonna sort of pick up what I'm talking about here, but sort of like I said earlier with the motion, it's almost like instead of one smooth motion I'm seeing, just almost like a jitter from everything, just sort of jumping to the side as I move around. Um, and and like I said, it could be purely a placebo here, but uh, I definitely feel like the experience is better with G-Sync enabled. I'm gonna flip back over to G-Sync now to see if that sort of goes away for me again. Okay, and we're now back into Overwatch with G-Sync re-enabled again, and yeah, that jitter's gone. So the jitter was definitely being caused uh, by the refresh rate of the monitor itself just not lining up with the uh, frames being delivered from the graphics card to the monitor. And it was kind of giving me this sort of cross-eyed feeling as I played the game, and that is just completely gone with G-Sync re-enabled. So G-Sync is definitely doing something positive here, and uh, from a purely cost perspective, this is a $200 panel that now has an added feature it didn't have before today. So if you're an NVIDIA graphics card owner, whether it's a 10 series or a 20 series card, which are the cards that this works with, this is a boon for you, really. I mean, this opens up several of these lower end G-Sync, or rather FreeSync panels to be used with G-Sync, and specifically these validated ones, at least if they're all like this, it's gonna be a pretty good experience. So there's really not much else to say. This is a great experience for $200. If you're looking for a G-Sync panel on a budget, I would look no further than this particular Acer model. If you get into the more expensive FreeSync panels that may be certified, at that point, I would honestly be just looking at a G-Sync uh, panel with a G-Sync module in it so you can go that full uh, refresh rate from one hertz clear up to the rated maximum refresh rate of the monitor. But if you're looking to get into G-Sync gaming on a budget, this monitor is sort of it for me because you're getting that 144 hertz refresh rate, you're getting G-Sync from, at least from NVIDIA's validation, from 60 hertz all the way up to its maximum refresh rate. And uh, hopefully even you're getting G-Sync with the entire free sync range, which this panel, like I said earlier, was rated from 48 hertz clear up to 144 hertz. So hopefully even, and I have no way to make sure or test um, exactly if that's the case, but G-Sync is definitely working when you're in the 60 FPS to 70 FPS range and I can wholeheartedly recommend it. I'll leave links to this panel down below, uh, probably a couple other links, just informative ones, like to the NVIDIA blog post where they announced this sort of new G-Sync initiative along with the other 11 panels listed there 
on that NVIDIA blog post that sort of show you which ones have been validated. So in case you're looking for those cheaper G-Sync panels, these FreeSync panels that are now validated by NVIDIA are really kind of it. And if the other 11 perform as well as this one, then it's a really great way to get into G-Sync gaming on a much lower budget than you otherwise could have. But of course, I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think about this sort of new initiative by NVIDIA? Uh, obviously, I'm a big fan of it, but what do you think? Is this a good thing for gamers? I really don't see how it's a bad thing for gamers. And more importantly, are you gonna yourself look into one of these FreeSync panels that now suddenly can run G-Sync? Let me know down below. And of course, if you liked the video, hey, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things very helpful to the channel. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.